Well, this morning we are continuing our Boomtown Houston County series, and you can't ignore the influence of Robbins Air Force Base and the people that it attracts, but there are several other industries providing thousands of jobs. The county added 220 manufacturing jobs alone last year, with another 570 expected to be announced throughout this year. So I went to the Houston County Career Academy to see how some of those industries are looking to take advantage of that recent growth. To these Houston County Career Academy students, the industrial maintenance program is more than just a class. You get the interview at the end of the year, you get everything that you like to set you up so you have the opportunity basically handed to you. Veterans Junior Samantha Buttercourt is talking about a job opportunity after graduation with Frito-Lay, one of the top manufacturing employers in the county. To come into our apprenticeship program, which is an eight-step program, um, they're required to uh, learn on-the-job training where they're working 40 hours a week. Greg Hoffman, a plant engineer at Frito-Lay, says the idea sprouted three years ago. The growth in Houston County has candidly been a problem because we don't have that skilled workforce. A problem that he says isn't unique to Frito-Lay we're doing is, like I said, is sharing them back and forth. Uh, we have to have a new influx of um, people into the workforce in manufacturing. Since the program started, Frito-Lay's hired 17 students, giving hope to others like Justin Ramo. The senior at Veterans had a few other career options in mind until learning what the industrial maintenance program had to offer. That really compelled me. I think it's a really good option for me to, you know, stay here and, you know, expand and see what I can do with Frito-Lay. And it's not the only program enticing students to stay in Houston County. Healthcare, engineering, and HVAC are among many other classes, also offering hands-on experience and future job opportunities. Development Authority Executive Director Angie Giesling says those partnerships promote job growth now, but the next step is anticipating what industries will need in the future. And for us, that means software. And our base is a software center of excellence, so we want our region to be a software center of excellence as well. She says that starts with a model similar to the Frito-Lay partnership, planting the seed early in K-12 through classes, then fostering that growth through area tech school programs and colleges. Now, Giesling says the Vector Center has also been a very successful tool. The center brings in veterans from all around the state, and many of them take advantage of the training and job programs in Houston County as they begin their civilian life. Now, when I went to the Career Academy, I had a chance to learn a lot about some of the other industry partnerships and opportunities they offer to students. You can find more details and interviews right now on 13WMAZ.com. And on Facebook, we hope you'll share your thoughts on the county's future. Our Boomtown Houston County reporting will continue throughout the year, so let us know about the challenges and opportunities that you want us to cover.